Kate Hudson is under fire for promoting tourism in Dubai. She has been accused of overlooking the terrible human rights record of the United Arab Emirates. The actress documented her recent trip to the region on Instagram, sharing images of, and a video promoting travel to the city. Some social media users were quick to jump on the post, branding the star irresponsible for glossing over the fact that homosexuality is still illegal in the country. Uh, the comment said, in Dubai, you risk, you risk many more years in prison for being gay. This is one of the truths that lies behind the Emirates' insta-friendly fa facade. Um, the truth is that a, brut a brutal reality is hidden behind the city's glamorous facade. Another added um, that why support the government and tourism there? You have so much money already. They literally kill people for being gay, end of quote. So... I think these people are very uninformed because um, if you know about Dubai, you know that it's an Islamic country, mm -hmm. and obviously homosexuality is not something they condone. In um, yeah, that's what they're saying. Yeah, and yeah. So that's nothing like human rights violation, if you ask it me. It actually is. How? It is Can human rights. For, Killing people for yeah, doing sexuality. their sexual orientation, what, what they decide wait, to do what with does, What does the Islamic um, standard? Islamic what, what standard is, is different from human rights. Mm. No, I it's just like you stay talk, talking about Sharia law and saying, okay, so Sharia law okay, is feel, human feel, rights. Okay, nah. okay, now, now I get where you're coming mm -hmm. from. Now that I'm thinking about it, but I'm saying that okay, this is something that's been obtainable. Dubai is not the only place who is doing that. Saudi Arabia will probably do the same thing. You're even going you go, too far. When I read I this, what I'm thinking is, you know, we've been talking about um, people, us trying to promote Nigeria as a tourist destination. Yeah. So if, for example, our leaders wake up to understand that tourism is one of the um, biggest ways to make money and they want to take it serious and they try to use some of this um, American um, influencers and actresses and celebrities this is definitely the kind of backlash we are going to face also because we also have a law that says they spend 40 years in, years in jail so that was where I was looking at it from as much as I feel like they don't have the right to even tell her what country to promote or what not to promote but I'm looking at it from the angle of saying so if tomorrow Nigeria is ready to do what they're supposed to do we still have to go back to our laws to understand or to know if it um, accommodates the kind of human rights that is globally um, acceptable. That's where I was looking at it from. Okay, for me, when I saw this, I was just like, well, maybe she didn't even see it this way, this whole um, gay thing. I'm sure it probably never even came to her mind. She just, it was just a project that was brought to her, and she probably got, got paid for it. I'm like, okay, this is business. Let me just make money, mm -hmm. and that's it. I'm sure she probably didn't look at it from, oh, they kill gay people. Or, she probably does not even know all these things. She just got the deal, and she mm -hmm. went for it. I think people should slow down and drag in her. But even if she does, that is what I'm talking about. I mean, she's not saying go to Dubai to go and practice your sexuality. She <laughs> right. not say, I mean, you decide if you want to go. It's your, like for a different purpose, it's your job not... to make research. You understand if your lifestyle you're is acceptable, to. where you're going to, what you are to wear, what you're not to wear, how you're mm. to look, what what food is um, available for you and I how mean, to if you're, prepare. If you're leaving your country to go to another country, it's just okay and just normal that you obey the rules and regulation in that country. Mm -hmm. exactly. If you feel that it's not okay for you or it's against She's your sexual orientation, so yeah, other um, places Nigeria you can go. is um, also um, violating human rights in the world because um, if you're saying 14 years imprisonment mm -hmm. for homosexuality, are you saying technically that? we're on the same table with Dubai? So we're one. on the yeah, same basically. table with Dubai. So um, at the end of the day, I see nothing wrong with what um, Hudson did because mm -hmm. um, she um, what's it called? She's it's promoting and it's a paid promotion. Like people didn't get the point that this is paid. No, they got the point. That's why they said they she, she already had, had money. money. So she <laughs> so can turn it down. Who has enough money? Who work in Tolu? Why are you to even tell me I have Yoga. enough money? I don't have enough money. Even Dangote, 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 still there for money. You know. Da -na -na. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, come on. Like, money is never enough. Mm. Do you understand? It's like, um, What's it called now? What what can I put this in with money? Life is never enough. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Like even it, twenty four uh, hours is never enough. Yeah, a hundred and twenty four year old man still doesn't want to die. Hmm. Do you Says understand? Who? Hmm? Says who? No, unless he has um, bad health. But as long as your health is good, you don't want to die. But for understand? me, I totally agree. She has not done anything she wrong, and I think people anything. should slow down dragging. I mean, she wants to make more money. And I think all these gay activists and they are too extra. They just, I don't know, but um, we're going. Yeah.
give me a good chance to practice in some countries. So just move to those countries. <laughs> <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs>